everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to talk to the beginners who are using the ID3 because on the different forums I see a lot of questions that are repeated all the time and I thought I want to go through all those questions so people know and it's just interesting as well. So let's get into the car. How the display of this range is being calculated depends on how you drive. So this is a gasometer. Gasometer means it's guessing uh, how much range you have on your driving behavior. So if for <laughs> like now I drove just a little bit and had the heat on everything so my consum average consumption is pretty high. So if I go on the highway drive top speed 165 for a long time then and then I charge the car full I only have like 150 kilometers here, but if I drive in the city with 40 and don't use any heat and my average consumption is very low, then it can show 500 kilometers in the summer. So this is really guessed on your driving pattern for the, the last 20 minutes or half hour. I, I can't remember how it exactly it, it's calculating that, but don't worry. The WLTP range 420 kilometers. This is what the battery can give you. But WLTP is a test that's standard standardized. <laughs> you know what I mean, standardized. <laughs> um, so it all depends how you are driving. In the winter there are many things that can uh, screw up with your range. First of all, the battery is cold. When the battery is cold you get less energy out of it and you also um, you also the, the resistance in the battery is higher so your consumption gets higher just because your battery is cold. So I don't know 5 degrees instead of 20 degrees in the summer. And the next thing is then that the heating takes energy. So when you drive you see right now it's 1.9 uh, kilowatt but the car is already warm so it's just maintaining uh, the heat. It, it doesn't need to, to, it's just a lot. Then, and the second thing, what the ID3 does, and we don't know how to control that in a good way right now, we hope for a good update, is the battery is being heated. So the battery in the car can be heated or cooled fluidly, uh, so with a fluid, <laughs> let's say like that, um, and this the battery when it's cold is being heated up so you get more range but if it's just a short trip that you're doing then you're heating up the cabin you're heating up the battery and so your average consumption goes very high charging the charging speed all depends on the temperature of the battery and of your state of charge. There's the BMS, the battery management system. It controls how much power the charger can deliver to the battery. Yes, the ID3 is advertised with 100 kilowatt charging and it can do that. I've seen it many, many times. But if you arrive with 30%, and charge at ionity, you're not getting 100 kilowatt. The same if you arrive with 5%, but you had your, your car outside or you drove 10 kilometers or 30 kilometers very slowly to the charger, the battery won't be warm. That's just physics and that's how it works. And right now with the software, the, the car is not heating the, the battery very well when you want to go to a charger and achieve the top uh, charging speed. But if you drive on the highway with good power, 130 or even faster for 10-15 minutes and you arrive with 10%, maybe a bit more but, but not too much, I don't know if it's it there at 15%, it could be, depends on the battery temperature, you should get your 100 kilowatt and then the battery is warm so when you do a long distance drive it again will be at 100 kilowatt. It's very simple. It all depends, of course, on your house. Can you charge at home? And then how is your installation? Uh, do you want to afford a wall box or something? Because the, the ID3 can charge with 11 kilowatt AC. And if you have a wall box that supports that in your house installation, does it too? 
and you want to uh, uh, pay the money for it, you can do it 11 kilowatt charging at home or with the granny charger with 2.2 kilowatt, they include a charger for the ID3, which just in the Shuko. It works, I do that uh, because for my house it would just be too expensive to have an 11 kilowatt charging. I'm still looking into a few options, but it doesn't look that well. But what's even more important is that you don't charge the car full the, every day. That's very bad for the, for the battery, you shouldn't do that and the ID3 is even telling you that. So at daily use um, you only want to charge to 80% and it's not just good for the battery, what it also does, it will give you full regen. When the battery is full you get less regen because regen is nothing else than uh, charging the battery but with your driving regenerative braking and when the battery is full there's still a buffer on top you have some region but not full and now with eight now right now I have 64 percent state of charge I have full region and full power so that's way better than to not have that and oops and um, also what's bad for the battery, when you need 100% to go on a trip, of course you should do it and it's no problem, but try to charge in a way that the car is not sitting with 100% for a long time, that's just bad for the battery. 100% and then an hour, two hours later you drive, that's fine, but charge it to 100% and then let it stand there for a few days, that's not good for the battery. The ID3 has a 12 volt battery because that's how electric cars work. Every electric car right now has a 12 volt battery. It's a buffer because yes, we have a high voltage battery in the ID3 here, it's 400 to 450 volt. But the systems in here, the infotainment systems, heat seeder, the fans, everything uh, is not uh, 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 working with 400 volt. It works with normal car parts, 12 volt. And so the, the a high voltage battery, the big one that I'm sitting on, is charging the tiny 12 volt battery here in the front and this then distributes all the systems in here. So when you're driving, except for the heat, driving, uh, so a motor, everything else is being powered by the 12 volt battery. The 12 volt battery problem of the ID3. What is it? I made a special video well, here. Um, um, you should check it out. So um, a few people, no, not a, f uh, a lot of people, have noticed when they came to the car in the morning, the car was just dead. The 12 volt battery was empty, and the reason was that Volkswagen decided for the normal software, when you park the car and don't charge it, it's just standing there. The 12 volt battery is not being charged by the high voltage battery for safety reasons. And there was a problem with uh, draining the 12 volt battery and when the battery was just empty, nothing works. Then you have to need a different car or a, a 12 volt battery booster, something like this, and then it works again. Um, but now with the last update, 0783, and if you have the problem, go to your dealer and tell him that and then you will get this update. The 12 volt battery is being charged even when the car is parked and not doing anything. If it noticed that the 12 volt battery needs charging, it will do that. So this is fixed. Over the air updates, when will they come? They will come with the ME 2.1 software that uh, all ID3s will get between January and March. You will be contacted by your dealer or by Volkswagen. You go there, get the update, takes around a day, a working day, and then you have over the air updates. And after that, hopefully, you never have to go to the workshop or your dealer again. A lot of people have been asking why the folding down when you reverse of the uh, uh, side mirrors doesn't work. It has to do that when you ha are in reverse, you have to select which mirror you want to fold down. So if this here is in the middle, those are not uh, have no light, then it doesn't work. But if you put it on left and then on reverse, it will fold down. <music> 
What are the green and the blue line here under the speedometer? I see that question a lot and why does it change? So the blue line is your power. So when you're driving, uh, the, 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 this line shows how much power you have available. When the battery is cold or when your state of charge is very low, this will go down. And then the, the, the thick blue will come in that shows you your current power usage. The same as green. Green is your regenerative braking. It means when you're braking with, the, with regen, the battery will be charged. And if the battery is extremely full or cold, then this line will get smaller and will show you that you have less regen available. And when you're braking or regening, then you also see a thick, a fat green line going in here that will show you what's going on. So this is affected by state of charge and cold battery and the other side also state of charge and cold battery. But that's it for me. If you have more questions, just leave them in the comments below. I will try to get to you and answer them. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.